give an account. So there is accountability in the demonic realm. Yes. There is order in the demonic realm. The only place that we want to do things the way we want to do things is in the church. And then we want to know why we don't have authority to deal with things that go bump in the night. Because they realize you have the same mannerism and you have the same spirit that we have. You got the same thing that got Satan kicked out of heaven, a spirit of pride. And the spirit of I yes. will ascend. I will. The same spirit resides in most people in the church. Because there is a system that is in place that will keep you safe if you submit to the system. Oh, I can't say that. But we don't want to do it. I ain't submitting myself to no man. You do it every day when you hit the clock. That's right. Can I take it a little deeper than that? You do it every day if you're buying a house when you step in your house. The government can come and take your house without a cause. We're going to make a highway go through here just to make you move. When you ain't taking my house, you're going to offer, take it or leave it. If you don't want it, we'll get put it back in the government, but this house coming down. You don't own your house. You're paying for it. And try to go out there within four feet from the street and do something. They own the sidewalk. They own the grass you cut. Four feet from the street belongs to the government. You paying taxes on something they own. Amen. Tell your payroll, your human resources, that you don't want no taxes coming out your check this week. <laughs> that, that can't happen. Because Uncle Sam owns you. And you, you, you're talking about, well, I ain't submitting to no man. Baby, you submitting to a man while you sleep. When you walk through the door at work, you're submitting to a man. When you go to school, you're submitting to a man. Everything we do, we submit to somebody. But the only problem we have is when we come into the church. We don't know how to shut up and do the job. We don't know how to shut up and be held accountable and do the word and stop fighting against the word because the longer I fight the word, the longer I'm going to stay immature, unproductive. I ain't submitting to no man. I submitted to a man when I pulled my Jeep over and got some gas. He set the prices. I didn't tell him I think I want to pay 20 cents a gallon. That's a man that set that system in place. But you don't want to submit to a man. Come on. That, that, that's, that's a cult stuff. Well, your job in a cult. That's right. Because tell Bank of America what you're going to wear every day. Tell them how you're going to do it. You're going to buy this particular computer because that stuff is slow. Just tell the man what you're going to do with your independent self. We're going to be taking up canned goods for you because you're not going to have a job and you're going to need some help. Every time you get on the highway, you submit to a man. You may not do it originally, but when you see him up on that hill with his buddy beside him, you start breaking. Why? You're submitting to a man. You're submitting to a sister. Don't have a problem with that because you don't want to pay no three hundred something dollars speed ticket. So we'll submit to every system but God's system. So he said you got to submit yourself under the hand of God. Then you will have authority to resist the devil. And let me say this. Stop spending time with clowns and try to make you resist God's orders. Yes. 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 You snag a tooth rascal. You, you. <laughs> You know, that, 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 you know, take all of that seat. In my church, we just go in there and sing some hymns and rail preach for 15 minutes. That's why most of them are going to hell. That's right. Because they're not submitted to God or man, and they're just going to do their religious duty. But the kingdom requires something of us. The kingdom requires and demands a response. Oh, girl, you know it don't take all of you. ain't got to be in Bible study. You can just go on Sunday like I do so I can be in the club with you on Saturday. Because you don't have any staying power. You have no resistance in you because you're not submitted to anything. And see, you can always tell a fool because a fool will always try to cause you to question authority and to do something that's going to cost you in the long run. The Bible says, though you grind a fool in the power, yes. you cannot separate his foolishness from him. Because a fool is a fool is a fool. Yes. Amen. 
And I understand, Sister Teresa, it is for my protection yes. that we don't have the Autobahn out there yes. going unlimited. Yes. Go to Hebrews. Right in front of James. Chapter 13. Are y'all okay? Yes. All right. So we got to submit to God. Say so we must submit to God. We must submit to God. The problem is not that we have a problem submitting to God. We have a, a problem submitting to the system that God has in place. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 13, 17, are you there? Amen. Amen. Now, who wrote the book of Hebrews? Oh. No, he didn't. I know. Thank you, sir. That's that Bible college coming out. It's an unknown author. Many attributed to Paul, but his, the style is not necessarily Pauline. So the author of Hebrews is unknown. Say unknown. Unknown. Uh -huh. Y'all didn't know that, did you? 17 says, obey, yes. the, obey your leaders and what? Submit to them. Oh, look, that's just, that's a curse word. <laughs> hold on, let me, am I reading this right? Let me, let me, hold on. Hebrews 13 and 17 says, obey your what? Leaders. Hold on, what version y'all got? It said it in everything? Okay, let me try this again. Hebrews 13 and 17 said, Obey your leaders and submit to who? To them. Hold up. James 4 and 7 says, Submit to God. Hebrews 13 17 say, Obey your leaders and submit to them. For they keep watch over your souls as those who will give an account. Let me, let me help you out with something. Do you realize that's a that's that that's yes. scary to me? Yes. That's that oh my god. I, I don't even like borrowing a person's car. That's scary to me. Because what if the motor decides to go out while I got it? Yes. What if the tire blow out while I have it? What, what if something go wrong? Why, what if a rock bounce up and hit the windshield while I have it? I don't even like being responsible for other people's stuff. He'd be like, Apostle, you can keep the CD. No, I don't want to keep it. I go back. Because I don't want to be responsible if something happens to us. Now, this right here scripture telling me to submit to those that have rule over me because they watch for my soul. That, that, that's scary to me. You might think being a pastor is easy, and, and I may make it look easy because I'm anointed for it. That, that's scary to me. I don't even want to watch for your pocketbook. I don't even want to watch for your phone. I don't even want to watch your little bad child running around the church. But you're telling me that I have to watch for your soul? So you mean to tell me that I got to be sensitive enough to God to know when your soul is in jeopardy of going to hell? Yeah. Mm. I got to stand between you and the devil so he won't take you back into Egypt? I ha God not watching for your soul. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be awesome if he was watching for our soul? Because he neither sleeps nor slumber. He that watches over Israel. But in the New Testament, he said leadership is responsible for watching over the same soul. Yes. Oh, my God. Wow. Let me get back wow. up here. Some people act like they never read that. Let me start this again. He said, obey your leaders yes. and submit to them, for they keep watch over your souls and those as those who will have to give an account. Yo, I got to give an account for you one day. Yeah. Did you pray for them? Did you teach them? Did you counsel them? Did you help them walk through some sin? I got to give an account of this stuff. God is adding it up. Let, let them do this with joy and not with grief, for this would be unprofitable for you. If, if you're not being accountable, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, if you don't truly submit, and I can't really do my job effectively because you won't line up, the Bible says that's unprofitable for you. It's going to cost you not to line up with his system. Oh, God. I, I wish I could change this. I, I want to take this out of the Bible myself. I want to say, obey God. 
and submit to him. Because he keep watch over your soul. I don't want to take the responsibility of having to watch over people's souls. But let me tell you this. Those that submit and are accountable, it is a whole lot easier to do it for them than people that are rebels without causes. Because basically, you got to throw your hands up and say, God, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're on their way to hell or not. You know. Because when a leader gets knocked out of the loop, they're no longer responsible for watching. Normally, when a child reaches 18, the other parent is no longer responsible for child support unless they go to It's different things that may keep it going, right? But normally, 18 is the cutoff point, right? Okay, so that parent, financially in that sense, is out of the loop because they're considered grown, right? Well, when a person starts violating the principles that God has put in place in his system, then you, as a leader, are out of the loop. And when you're out of the loop, you're no longer responsible for trying to watch. Because in order to watch, you have to see. In order to watch, you have to know. And so people expect you to watch when you don't see and you don't know. 